Hello readers, welcome back to Do Your Reading Adventures. Today's story is Federico and the Wolf by Rebecca J. Gomez and illustrated by Alyssa Chavari. Once upon a modern time, a boy named Federico left to buy ingredients to make the perfect pico. Cuidado, called his mama as he pedaled toward the shops. Mine abuelo's grocery list and don't make other stops. Past the buildings, cars, and cabs, young Federico scurried until he reached a marketplace where people browsed unhurried. He filled the basket on his bike with romas, herbs, and limes, jalapenos, onions, and a peck of anaheims. He added garlic, pickles, bread, and other market goods, then pedaled through the city park and deep into the woods. A fallen branch had blocked the path, so Rico stopped his ride. With steady force, he pushed to budge the barrier aside. Hola, called un lobo, catching Rico unaware. I see you packed a hefty lunch. You got some grub to spare? Sorry, lobo, Rico said. I must be on my way. I have to be at Grandpa's shop by 12 o'clock today. Federico grabbed his bike and left the wolf behind. Little did he know, the wolf had other plans in mind. La tienda was deserted. Rico listened. Not a sound. The sign said closed. And what were those? Some paw prints on the ground. Federico peeked inside, alarmed by what he saw. A figure waved him over with a large and furry paw. Abuelo, whispered Federico pulling off his hood. Yes, it's me, but I can't see. Come closer if you would. I, I think you need a shave. Your beard has grown so thick. You think so, said El Lobo. Setting grooming does the trick. Your arms have gotten grande. My new workouts made me strong. New dentures too? They help me chew because they're sharp and long. By now, the wolf was drooling. All this chatter is getting old. I'm hungry, bub. I need some grub before I pass out cold. Okay, said Rico. Let me see. I brought your favorite treats. Whole grain bread, a cabbage head, a jar of pickled beets. El Lobo's nose began to twitch. Mi niño, here's the deal. Set those yucky things aside and I'll make you my meal. He bounded from La Silla with a grunting, growling shout, but Rico tossed some chili powder straight into his snout. The wolf inhaled. He sniffed, he snuffed, he itched and twitched and wheezed. He tried to wipe his drippy nose, but ah, 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 sneezed. Federico ducked and dashed, then rummaged through his sack. Not so fast, you tasty tyke, I haven't had my snack. But Rico quickly plotted. When the wolf's mouth opened wide, he grabbed un habanero and he jammed it deep inside. El Lobo gulped. He gagged and coughed. His ojos blazed bright red. Steam was puffing out his ears. I need to dunk my head. He hurtled through La Puerta with a shrieking, gasping scream and dashed as fast as he could go toward the distant stream. Ayuda, cried Abuelo from inside a bolted box. Rico found him safe and snug in just his shorts and socks. Gracias, he scrambled out with shouts of pride and joy. I thought that wolf would do us in, but you prevailed, my boy. They cleaned the mess and Graham Scott dressed, then shared a bit of lunch. How about we make a sauce that packs a special punch? They chopped and diced, used lots of spice, and simmered sauce all night, then bottled their concoction, Wolf's Bane Salsa Extra Bite. The End Thanks for watching Do Your Reading Adventures. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Goodbye!